All right, so this is mostly a test to see how live streaming will do for my gaming setup. So if you hear feedback from the TV, it's because I'm sitting literally like maybe three feet, four feet from the TV. Uh, I don't know how late on the thing it's going to be. Yeah, so the game I'm testing out is Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operations 2. Uh, this was the Japanese-only game on the PS3. I did have it on PS3. It's... As you can see, mobile is free to play, but there are some in-game items that are for purchase. Gun of Sword Anniversary, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, the TV will be probably a little low. I don't know how much leads I have here. Uh, it says excellent connection. The preview I'm seeing for... Who is quite low. I don't know if that's normal. Uh, oh, oh, wow, that just suddenly caught up. I'm guessing the internet is warning the current stream is lowered. Okay. Warning the stream's current hit rate is lowered. At 40. Okay. Alright. Wow. So, this is a free to play game. Now, I'm gonna go into the horror system. To you. You're explained all of this. So, there's MS, which is your mobile suits, your pilot, your missions, your database. Uh, clan that's not unlocked for me yet. Store, options, and save. So the store is literally what it sounds like. You can buy what these things are called tokens. Okay. Five. Uh, tokens can are can be earned or bought. Uh, each day your missions so your missions are monthly daily limited there's none and promotion so daily missions are easy as they vary battle three times uh, battle into st two space battles ground battles win a battle defeat your enemy defeat a rival that's what they call it uh, here's where so you're, when you first start the game, you're introduced to this little girl right here. Uh, this is the information center. Her name is Tenda Be Begin. Tenta Begin. Haha, <laughs> bad pun, I know. So this is literally a training, teaching you how to jump, positions, statuses, tackle and counter, switch weapons on short with shortcuts. Pretty much teaching you the basics. Intermediate, uh, cancel moves. Uh, there's cancel how to teach you how to cancel maneuvers, what different types of mobile suits there are, uh, raid MS, space, ground, space, uh, and support in space. Now, the reason general isn't, I believe, in a space, uh, where is it? Yeah, there's actually all three, sorry. Raid, general, support. So, and then there's your advance, how to, what is strong against what, what's weak against what. So, yeah. Uh, clan terminal, that's your clan camp. Uh, reward center, mission control. This is where you, this is the guy you go see once you level up enough to get a promotion. Uh, it's level 10 who... For a while, then it starts getting to level 15, where I'm at. Uh, oh, there it is, actually. You see at the bottom? Right, corner. I'm hoping the stream's gonna be caught. Gonna be close enough. Yeah, this is probably gonna go faster since I have a lot of latency. Shit. Yeah, I gotta have to change that. Uh, as you can see, I'm a corporal. That's my YouTube. At uh, the bottom right, you see Corporal, uh, level 7, 
M A R one. That's my username. If you go to missions and go to promotion, reach Corporal level 15 for your next promotion mission. Uh, at first, it's level 10 up to now. Then it goes to 15. I think it then drops to 20. It goes higher and higher. I have not seen what the highest rank is yet. Mobile suits are very easy. You'll start off with usually... There are three types of mobile suits I should just go with. There's general, support, and yes, there's a ray right here. So the easiest way to understand this game is raids is like Pokemon. They're, they have a weakness. There's a triangular weakness. Imagine like the three starters. Okay, I'll use a bit rate 4500 later. I'll change it. Um, raid are strong against supports. Raids are fire types. They're strong. They have good close quarters, a fair amount of HP, good speed, and they usually have decent strength. This is a basic, it's a good physical close range combat. It's fast too. Uh, your raid fire type is strong against your support type or grass type. Support types have long range, they have bulk, they're very beefy, like they have high defense, but everything about them sucks. Your grass type beats your water type. Your uh, generals are all around. They have good defense for ballistic resistance melee, range, uh, thrusters, speed, HP. They're all around. Uh, general mobile suits fall usually under things like the gym or the Zaku 2. Uh, raids are things that like the Zaku 1, uh, the Zuda, which if... Yeah, there's a lot of mobile suits also that are oops are also from uh whoops that's not what i wanted yeah see there the guide general beats raid raid beats support support beats general yeah you actually there is a game full-on mechanic about it that if you're face a support's facing a general, you'll get you'll do more damage. But a general going against support, you'll cause less damage, which is actually a very good. You have to rely on your teammates, hoping they're going to be smart about it. There's a lot of mobile suits from you know vary mobile suit variation. There's the GM command. There's the GM cold district type. This was in I believe '83. Uh, explanation. There it is. Double 80 war in the pocket. Yeah, sorry. 80, I said 80, 80 said 83. I don't know why. Uh, there's something like this. The Zaku Flipper. I don't even know where this is from. Uh, mobile suit variation. Yeah, see. Uh, they, they're they only in the Universal Century. So there's nothing beyond right now. This is 0079. They did 79, 80, 83. And they're starting on Zeta Gundam. Now, if this was a new day of login, you would have seen it. But you can see the new arrival raid here. That's the Super Gundam Mark II. Yes, this is a thing you can get. Now, the way you get it is through the supply counter. Now, you have your supply drops, which use your tokens, which you bought and gained. Okay, so this is you gain through buying or completing missions. You have limited supply drops, which, you know, you have a chance of earning the Gundam Unit 4 and Gundam Unit 5. Okay, you have your supply drop right here, which does either 1 times for 3 tokens or 10 times for 30. I do have this. Now, as you can see, it says uh, Super Gundam joins the battle. Super Gundam Mark II. The Gundam Mark II with the Super Pack, sorry. Not what I wanted. Yes. No. Uh, you also, if you do the full 10, the supply drop for 30 times, for 30 tokens, you do get a bonus of the helmet, which uh, Emma Sheen does wear in the anime. Your DP exchange, your money. Here you can buy at mobile suits. Uh, mobile suits, weapons, armor support equipment and clothing for your character 
Now, there's sometimes, as you can see, as much as I want, you know, heavy Gundam, you need a Master Sergeant level to buy it. I don't have. I'm not that. And it costs 106,000 uh, DP. You can buy raids, generals, and supports. The higher your rank goes, the more you'll be able to buy. Like right now, I can buy the GM uh, custom level 3. I can, since I'm Corporal level 7. But, it's 23,000. And I don't want that. Uh, you can buy main weapons, which is usually the weapon you you go with. Uh, you have your beams. Beam weapons. I find this weird. This is not a support weapon for the GM Custom Sniper. Ballistics. And melee. Melee vary from uh, beam to uh, beam and physical. I don't know why it punches it. I don't know why this even exists. You have custom parts, which help your mobile suit with attack, defense, move, auxiliary, and specials. You know, you can get back armor, uh, head armor, uh, leg armor. Clothing and accessories. Clothing and accessories. You know, this is just to customize your character. I really don't care. Don't care. And oh, right, the last one. Yes, is the supply counter. The supply counter is that whenever you... They're called recycle tickets. Uh, whenever you sometimes get um, mobile suits through the... Or weapons or parts that you already own from supply drops or you can find recon position... Recon crates in the game while fight playing. I don't know how they're found. They're just found by chance. You can use recycle tickets to buy mobile suits. Uh, usually mobile suits. Come on. As you can see, there's variations. Main weapons. Custom parts. Holy shit, anti-mail level 3. Anti-ballistics level 3 too. Nice. Uh, clothing. As you can see, there's the normal suit G4 experimental suit. There's unit 1, unit 2. Unit 1's helmet. There's markings, which is literally just... AU, the Unic Amaro Ray. Uh, you know, you just have a bunch of people. Just you look at this up. And patterns you have your your camels more or less. You have like bark and snow and shit like that. So yeah, let's actually see the main weapons what they have. Yeah, recycle tickets sometimes cost a lot. Level 4, I don't even have a... Yeah, the... So, when I first launched a game, I had the... I had the, um... Pack... A new player package drop. I don't know if this ended or not. Uh, you got a lot of good mobile suits. Um... Got a lot of good mobile suits. So if you look here, I believe off the bat, uh, I know I did get, I got, I believe the Gundam ground type, uh, one of the blue destiny Gundams, the Gundam pixie, the original Gundam, you had like 10 mobile suits that was just given, 10 mobile suits that was given to you when you first joined the game. I don't know if this is still going on. And this is your sorted counter. This is where you go play the game, pretty much. So there's ranked match. Obviously, this is simple to understand. Quick match, which is non-ranked. Custom match, free practice, and event. Hmm. This is new to me. Because usually this is blacked out. Uh, I believe you have to be invited to join a clan or you can create your own. I just go to quick match most of the time. 
Uh, yay, basic space match, basic match in the port. Let's go with something that you'll usually go with, which is between 200 and 300. So we'll do the... Uh, yes, I know the bit rate is too low. Now again, this is all testing for my headset, my... see how well the stream is going. Haro Mobile Suit Customize. So we have up to 350, which is... Any, you, this was new. This is actually something they added, I believe. They did an update. Uh, before, you could see all your mobile suits. They were all available. Now they're, now, now they're blacking out things that aren't available for this battle. So, 250 to 350. Since I like using supports, register sortie, and register for ground. You'll see a bunch of players pop up. And right now, I'm going to take a wild guess and... Oh, I still have a decent internet connection, even with wireless. Ah! <sighs> okay, so... The red... Mobile suits in red are your raids, yellow are your supports, and blue are your custom. Are your... General, sorry, I said custom for some reason. Uh, I'm going to switch this out to a general, actually. I'm going to go with the armored GM. I'm going to customize it very quickly. I have the bazooka. Do I have the level 3 bazooka? No. Okay, so we're going to use the low, oh, one bazooka. Quit it. There's a sortie. Ground. Some mobile suits can only be used in ground. Some can only be used in space. It's a sucky thing, but that's life. In this game. Now, you won't see the enemy's teams. Uh, mobile suit or anyone. Okay. F Sapphire, please fucking join the game. Okay. Please now join. Thank you. Sometimes players don't press the X button to ready for launch or ready to sortie. And it's annoying because you have to reset that entire finding a game. And that is annoying as shit. Yeah, the entire game is in Japanese. But the fun thing is that everything was translated into English. Now, sometimes there is broken English, I will not lie. I read some of these scripts and go, wait, what? Sometimes you'll see dialogue uh, at the bottom of the screen where, you know, it gives you hints, and it's broken as shit. So this is, this is where the fun begins. So left trigger moves your mobile suit or your character. X is the boost. Your L1 is to jump, sorry. L2 is to crouch. Ah. Your right trigger aims your camera, your weapon, blah, blah, blah. Your right tr your right thumbstick, I should say. Not your right trigger. Ow! And that is a support mobile suit being a dick. That was long range support mobile suit. Now, there are unique maneuvers you can do with mobile suits. Uh, if you double some mobile suits, mostly the generals, you double tap, you can get out of the way of firing. You can get out of the way of damage, you can... Yeah! You think I'm that dumb, buddy? Now, you can hurt two parts of the mobile suits, usually. The head or the legs. If you destroy the legs, if you damage the legs too much, the mobile suit won't be able to move anymore. And I'm facing a support type with a general, which is a bad idea. Rock, paper, scissors, and it's full effects. Rockets do a lot more damage than anything else. Ow, and there's the legs damaged. Yep, and there's my mobile suit destroyed. <sighs> See, this is the... How the hell did we lose so many points? Wow. So now you have your sortie. You can sortie out as a pilot with just triangle or wait till your mobile suit. The higher the cost your mobile suit... The higher the cost of the mobile suit, the worse it becomes. 
And what I mean by that is that the mobile suits tend to cost more, they take longer to respawn. Now this is usually only the very good ones. Uh, the ones that are like 400... There's no one here. They captured it here, there's no one. Yeah, sometimes you'll cl you'll clearly hit a mobile suit and you can tackle an enemy to do more damage too. Sometimes that tackle will do exactly this. Uh, you are invulnerable when getting up or doing certain actions. The second you attack, you lose that vulnerability though. Ah, uh, now I have that support motherfucker right behind me. Right behind this fucker. As you can see, I did like a thousand damage right there. That's the point of the bazookas. As you guys can see, that was plain bullshit. You could do an emergency escape. Sometimes they won't destroy your mobile suit after that. Sometimes they will. And they'll be idiots. Now as a character you have a jetpack which allows you to fly a bit. Whether in ground or in space. Yeah, that was a bad idea. God damn, that gun tank is powerful. Yeah, I'm good with supports usually. Wow. Are we really that screwed over? So yeah, some mobile suits will have multiple weapons. What the hell? How the hell did that happen? Oh my god. Yeah, sometimes the game will bullshit. So when your legs are damaged, you can't thrust as well. You can't dash as well. And your mobile suit will hinder like that. You can get out and repair it. You just need to repair enough. Come on, let me in. Yeah, you have to be at a specific angle to board your mobile suit. The one thing I hate about the bazooka, it's a slow recharge weapon, but god damn does it do damage. Yeah, you can get destruct, you get more points for destroying a mobile suit obviously, but you know, you can't always win them all. Yeah, it's actually a good idea to run away from the battle to repair your mobile suit once in a while. Just to get something done.
Yeah, I knew that support was right there, so I didn't bother trying to... Yeah, even the gun tank can fly to an extent there. Now, the bad thing with the gun tank is that it's a very heavy, very bulky boy. Very big boy. So, good luck trying to kill it with, the, with a general like mine. Especially when wounded like crazy already. Yeah, so your best bet is to always try to stick close to your allies. Uh, why did I hit the tank and not him? Okay, that's weird. Yeah, we lost this battle. Uh, yeah, I got you. So yeah, this is just wanting to show you this game. Uh, tapping X, double tapping X like I did will actually get you to dash around like that. Not every mobile suit can do that. And you gotta do it in an angle. So yeah, that's Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operations. Again, this was just a test to get an idea of how things are going. So hopefully this will do work better. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, see you guys next time and hopefully this will end up a lot better.